It's now 10.25 in the evening and we're looking to anchor. We need to establish what is a safe depth for us to anchor in such that when it becomes low tide, the boat's still floating. To do this, we've had to adjust our tidal curve slightly because it's now beyond our high water time. We now need to take into account the low water time and height, which is going to be in the early hours of the morning. So we've taken this from the 17th, the early hours of the 17th of October, and the only adjustment we've had to make to our curve is that we've now had to adjust down this line so it goes from 1.6, our low water height, and cut this at 4.9, our high water height. Now, it's 22.25, and we need to know what's a safe amount of water to, for our boat to be floating in now, such that at low water, it's still floating. The first thing we need to do, and we've filled this section in already, is to work out how much water our boat will require at low water. So we require our draft, 1.2 meters, and a clearance of one meter. So we require at least 2.2 meters of water. But of course, the tide is gonna fall between now and low water. So we have to calculate how much the tide's gonna fall by. We know it's going to be somewhere between these two figures, but we need to know what. So we go back to our curve. You can see here, we've already marked that at 10.25, which is one division before 10.34, approximately, we go up, we go across, and we go up again. And we can see that the height of tide at the time we're looking to anchor is 4.1 meters. The height of tide at low water in the early hours of the morning is 1.6. And subtracting one away from the other, the difference between this and this is 2.5 meters. So going back to our table, we know from earlier that we require 2.2 meters of water at all times. We know that the tide's going to fall by 2.5 meters and you can see that this table indicates that we should add these two figures. So we require at least 4.7 meters. It's useful again to confirm this by drawing a diagram. You can see that our boat drawing 1.2 meters we'd like a clearance of one meter and the tide is going to fall by 2.5 meters. So you can see that we add these three together to establish how deep the water should be now for us to have clearance at low water. Remember, when you anchor, you're likely to swing around, so you need to ensure that there's this depth of water in any area which you're likely to swing into.